you've been asking me for videos about career mode in Soccer Manager 2025 for a long time. So today we're going to start a video of this style to see how it works and the support it can have. This time we have a historic team in Italian football, Milan. To start, I've made this career mode live on my Spanish channel. They're the subscribers and I have made the decisions to lead Milan to success. At first it didn't seem like a bad team, so I only made sales of players that I wasn't going to need. But since I didn't have much money to reinforce the squad with something that would improve the starting 11, I decided not to sign anything. The lineup for the season has been a 4-3-3 that I uploaded to the channel recently, I'll leave it on the final screens. The truth is that the season has gone very well. We managed to win the league with many dates before everything ended, a league with more than 100 points. Only two games lost, one tied and 35 games won. At least with Milan, the Italian league seemed easy to me. Vlahovic was the top scorer, but due to an injury to Alvaro Morata, he was only able to play 27 league games, with an average goal every 45 minutes. In the Italian Cup, we faced Napoli in the round of 16, where we won 1-0. In the quarterfinals, we were up against our biggest rival and we managed to win 5-0. In the semi-finals of the cup we faced Atalanta, where we won 5-1 on aggregate. The truth is that the toughest game was the round of 16 against Napoli. In the cup final we faced Roma. A difficult team to beat, but in the 20th minute Milan took advantage of a counter-attack where Roma was disorganized and Alvaro Morata scored the 1-0. And it didn't stop there. Morata took advantage of a corner kick and scored the 3-0, without a doubt a route in the final of the Italian Cup to make a historic season in Italian football. No one had such dominance ever. In the Champions League, we don't lose any game in the league phase. The truth is that this Milan looked very good, and that's why with 70 million in the middle of the season I decided to continue with the team I had and not sign anyone, since it seemed that I was going to win the league very easily, and that's what happened. I saved everything for a possible second season. In the Champions League round of 16 we again found our biggest rival and we were going to go through to the next round, leaving Inter Milan out of all competitions. Milan's absolute dominance. And in a very even tie against Atletico Madrid, Abraham's goal gave us the pass to the Champions League semi-finals in the last play of the match. In the Champions League semi-finals we were up against the powerful Manchester City, I won't say anything about this tie, just watch and enjoy Milan's game. And we reached the final, against Arsenal, one of the best teams in Soccer Manager 2025 in my opinion. I think the best team in the first season. Not much happened in the game, beyond a few occasions where David Raya was very safe at the back. And in a very even Champions League final everything was going to be decided in a penalty shootout. With the new Soccer Manager 2025 update, goalkeepers can stop balls, so the penalty shootout was very crazy. But as we see, Arsenal finally snatches away the biggest dream we could have with Milan, to lift a Champions League again. 
We had a historic season, but we lacked the most difficult title to get, and we were very close to losing on penalties. Do you think I should do a second season and try to win the Champions League? Tell me in the comments. Subscribe and give me a like so I know you want videos like this.